new coin sponsor here on the channel, fellows, AOEAH.com. Use code DOC at checkout to save 3% off. Enjoy today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little minute. I had to go out of town for work, but we did finish the Jets ebook live on Patreon right now. $5.99. You get the Jets full offense. You're going to get the Saints full offense, and you're going to get the full Dolphins ebook. Three full ebooks for the price of one, really less than the price of one. $5.99, best deal, man. Come check it out. Link will be in the description. But the Jets playbook, boys, I'm going to give you a nice little mini scheme today. This is going to be a three part video. I'm going to give you guys a good little chunk of this Jets ebook. For free, it's that time of year. I want to give you guys some quality contests, some quality schemes. You do like the mini schemes, so I'm going to bring you um, a few mini schemes this week to make up for the lack of uploads. Appreciate you guys joining, subscribing, and joining on Patreon. Still uh, showing lots of support, so I do appreciate that. Really good playbook. I mean, it's got bunch TE, it's got gun bunch, pistol doubles, which is nice. There's a nice little um, jet sweep scheme that I run out of there. Um, I form's not super strong, just one I form formation. Strong wing is pretty pretty dope, but the single back is second to none. So between the bunch and the single back, you get some really good formations in here and, and uh, can make some really good schemes. A very good variety of bunch formations as well, including split slot, doubles formations that are really effective for me in this scheme, a couple trips formations, three or four trips formations, and then you get the bunch TE and the bunch, which is great. So we're going to keep it simple here. This might be something you've seen before. Starting out this scheme we're gonna start it out with a bunch formation um, for this video and then if you guys seem to like it we'll move on to the next videos in some single back stuff and maybe the bunch te just let me know in the comment what you want to see next but uh, bunch T we're gonna start off with the best play in the game mesh post this is something that was only available in West Coast ebooks in previous years, and it's in a few playbooks this year, including Jets. So it's pretty nice. We're going to start off nice and simple here. Give you two different versions of this mesh post play. First one's going to be a quick out route to square. This is some Skimbo was running a few years back, um, but we're going to mix it up a little bit here. And this, you see every play in the beginning of this video and the highlights is a Jets play working in game. So I give you a little highlight reel of the scheme working in game, and you should have seen this play at least a few times. Um, but I like to slant R1 here, motion to the left, motion snap, a slant swings back right. A lot of times you'll have this triangle route in a unique spot you can rack that um, he did have a little vert hook there to the linebacker so I kind of had to throw it left if it's man defense a lot of times you'll be able to just uh, bullet pass that to the inside as hunt cuts up and get a nice little rack catch if not um, if triangle is not going to get open out of the backfield go ahead and look to the flat or the slant and then you're always going to have this post route coming late so pretty simple concept, but very effective when you use that motion. And that's the first version of this play. Second version, we're still going to out route square. Um, this time we're just going to hitch route R1 with the right trigger. And then um, you do have the option to smart route circle. Shortens hit or uh, deepens his post route by like a yard, maybe a half yard. Uh, but that is optional. But um, in this variation, we are not going to motion. We're just going to leave that little hitch. Uh, sets kind of like a pick, allows the flat route to get wide open, and then um, you know feel free to hit that hitch route if he's if he's you know screaming to the flat to cover that flat route, or uh, that hitch is really going to tie down the zones. And there's the inside to the wheel route that I was talking about that works really effective when you have that outside receiver on the out route. So two little variations. I'll show it one more time. Just hitch. Um, R1 and, and then out route square just two quick hot routes but uh, pretty simple concepts but pretty effective nonetheless let's move on to the next play 
All right, fellas, next play I have for you out of the Jets ebook, Gun Bunch. It's going to be called Jets Dig. We're going to keep with the same motion that we used in Mesh Post. We're going to motion R1 to the left. We're going to out route X. We're going to streak circle. And we're going to motion R1 to the left. I actually have a few different variations of this play, but this is the main one. Uh, your first read is always going to be X. Quick hitter there against man is going to work really well with circle kind of working as your pick. Another thing, when you motion R1 to the left, makes for a quick, easy read to triangle because R1 kind of gets in the way. Uh, allows you to see what that linebacker is doing. You could quick hit that to triangle. So obviously X and triangle to the running back are going to be your first reads. Any type of zone defense. You'll be able to hit R1 or circle in the seams, kind of like this, especially if you get a linebacker matched up there. Um, R1, when you motion them left, stays to the inside. A lot of times if you have a fade there to R1 and you motion them left, you know the, the route kind of flips on you. But in this particular play, um, R1 stays to the inside, which I love. So that's the first variation. Just motion R1 to the left, have X on that out route, so just too easy hot routes you can hit x quick rack x especially if you have more speed there to x but uh with that angle to the in route you can to the you know the angle going into r1 you can hit that on a bullet pass uh just make sure you bullet it and uh kind of leave it to lead it to the right but i love when you move triangle over there it makes that easy read to uh when you move r1 left it makes that easy read to triangle so that's the first variation Another variation you can do of this play is still out route X, still streak circle. Now we're just going to option route triangle the running back. Still going to motion R1 to the left here. And let him get a little further outside so you have more separation. But between triangle, R1, see how the, the linebacker comes down for that option route. And then you can really drill it to that seam route. And then if, um, you know, if he's user in that or if the option route does fall or if the zone does follow R1, you'll be able to hit that option route. And if it's manned up, usually he will take the out route, which is really nice. So between all three of these routes, um, it's going to be really hard to cover all three. So if the first two are covered, as you saw there, you just hit wait, have a little bit of patience. Um, R1 and triangle are both bagged. You can hit that delayed dig coming from square. All right, fellas, then the third thing you can do with this play is we're still going to streak circle. Um, now we're going to drag X. We're still going to option route triangle, and then we're going to smart route that option route. Nine times out of ten with this setup, um, especially against zone, you're going to get the curl route of the option route and not the out route. If he's in real tight man coverage, he will still take that out route. But you want to smart route it because on that curl route, you just need it a little bit further downfield to get more separation from the drag. This is a setup. It's going to take more time to develop. Um, but the nice thing about it is if he is like man blitzing um, with triangle on that curl route right you know the smart routed option route right up the middle with r1 on the inside fade you're gonna get like some picks over the middle against man defense and x should come wide open so if you have some speed at tight end x is gonna be a great option but if he's in any kind of drop zone um, between x and triangle and square you'll see just like that triangle gets wide open um, the zone usually takes r1 on the inside fade triangle will sit down wide open if the zone or the user goes for triangle on the smart routed curl um, smart routed option route that he takes the curl on most of the time um, then you'll have that dig route coming from the left side so really good route combo here between all three of these routes just like the last play it's gonna be really hard to cover but with the smart route and the drag I find triangle gets left wide open nine out of ten times if not you could take that dig route just like that that was really tight man really good man defense with the Ravens defense obviously the read there was probably X on the drag first so always take X if you got them so go for X wide open you see the little the little rub you get there and X kind of breaks free and Hooper doesn't have the greatest speed uh, but you get the idea there so I'll give you one more play out a bunch and we'll wrap this video up all right, fellas, last play, I gave you two mesh post variations, three Jets digs variations, um, and then a bunch trail. So a little six-play scheme here. This is called bunch trail, out of bunch, obviously, still in the Jets ebook. R1, I went ahead and put Beckham at the point there of the bunch in the slot, and then we're just going to block the running back. We're going to hitch route circle. We're going to smart route that hitch route, and then go ahead and streak your tight end. We're going to keep the streak your tight end. We're going to keep the same motion to Beckham here. You want to snap it kind of close to the line of scrimmage because you have like a double post coming from the 
the left side here. If he's in man defense, if he's not careful like that, you can hit Landry for one play touchdown. But that's not the main read on this play. You do kind of want to watch that though. You don't want to miss it if you got it. But the main thing here is the plan of um, the hit trap, the streak, and then Beckham coming over the top here on the post. So you might want to have to roll out a little bit. But if he comes down, you know, your first read is going to be X in the seams if he's not using it. Um, next, you're going to kind of watch that post to Landry if it's wide open, if there's no safety help. And then you're just kind of looking to the right here. You can slide protect right. You can do your little slide protection um, to the right. But, you're, you're, you know, if square or X isn't open quickly, then you're going to kind of play this hitch and the post off of each other. Um, and I could have hit the hit hitch right there out of the break as he came open you just um, low pass that but I was obviously late on that read so let's try it again hitch route and smart route circle block the running back those are your only hot routes and then streak and tight end obviously and then we're gonna motion back to the left try to snap it a little close to the line kind of watch circle you can throw an interception twice in a row if you're bad like me um, but if you have any kind of sense <laughs> you're gonna wait on that route and wait for R1 to come over the top. So let's try it one more time. Block triangle, streak X, hitch circle, smart route that hitch, and then we're gonna do the same motion we've been doing in the previous five plays. Keep them guessing. The last plays too, you're attacking um, the left side of the field with that wheel route. You're attacking the left side of the field with the hitch and the jets dig and the seam. Um, so he's really going to be expecting R1 to go on that streak and then he's just going to break to the inside and get you a big gainer like that. And then if not, um, definitely take circle on the easy gainer. Like here I could probably low pass this and possession it. But I'm not very good at Madden so don't play like me. I just give you guys the ideas and hopefully you execute it better than I do uh, but just hitch circle smart route it block the running back motion R1 to the left don't forget to streak the tight end coming down for the hitch you're gonna get a big hitter to Beckham here over the top so I hope you enjoy it fellas I hope it helps your game let me know in the comments what you think if you want me to stick with the Jets ebook I'm happy to do some more videos this week appreciate you watching enjoy the rest of your man season